hotels in Nigeria are facing an existential crisis that could force some of them to collapse on the weight of rising operating costs and expenses without any revenue to absorb. Reports from four of the major listed hotels on the Nigerian Stock Exchange reveals a revenue decline of nearly 90% due to a fallout of the COVID-19 induced lockdowns. The lockdown effect on the results of these companies is reflective in the second quarter results of the main listed companies. According to data, Ikeja Hotels, owners of Sheraton, Tourist Company of Nigeria, owners of Federal Palace Hotel, Capital Hotels, and Transcop Hilton Hotel PLC, have all lost 90% of their revenue in the three months preceding June 2020. Joining us live via Zoom to discuss this is Paul Omo, Executive Director of Bond Hotels. Thanks for joining us, Mr. Omo. Thanks for having me. Good morning. Good morning. The Managing Director of Transcorp Hotels PLC, Mrs. Jupo Lushala, said the hotel and hospitality industry in Nigeria has never faced a crisis that brought travel to a standstill, and that's including the Ebola virus outbreak of uh, uh, 2014 or the recession of 2016. Tell us about your own experience. Yes, sincerely, our, our, our experience has been that of helplessness and hope that a vaccine will be available soon because hospitality is essentially based on social interaction and movement. With the recent various travel restrictions imposed in the last months in various jurisdictions and across the world, it has almost brought the hospitality to a standstill and the business outlook have been very, very bleak. And uh, in the light of this, what other avenues can hotels explore to generate revenue and also cut down overheads? Yes, uh, just like I mentioned earlier, the premise of uh, hospitality is about social interaction and movement, business traveling, the fact that you can't uh, move your where you live to wherever you're going to conduct business, you will need to find a place to, to stay. So that is the basis on which we operate. Due to the restrictions of travels worldwide, social distancing, it has uh, really created uh, massive havoc and looking for other avenues to generate revenue for the hospitality industry is close to impossible. The only thing we will we, we, we'll, uh, rely on is to reach out to the few businesses out there which leads to fist fight in the marketplace. Everybody's grappling for the little that exists. And then talking about uh, reducing uh, expenses, methods that could be adopted are those of engaging in prudential shopping cutting off extras and, 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 and staying with the basics. And unfortunately, in cutting these expenses, the first casualty is the staff. Therefore, I must add that our ability to reduce expenses also have been greatly hampered by the recent increase in fuel, in electricity and VAT, which has which is leading to galloping inflation in the marketplace and it's making it very difficult. So we'll use this avenue also to reach out to the gov government to in this, their palliatives that they are, they are preparing to ensure that hotel, the hospitality industry is not left out. Every hotel business requires loans, especially uh, with a business like yours, which has recently acquired other hotels. So are you renegotiating with your bank? Yes, I, I must say that the banks have been really, really forthcoming. They've uh, done marvelously because majority of them have uh, rescheduled their loan extending uh, moratorium for payment so that um, payments will start in about three months, six months, depend on ability to negotiate. And some of them have actually also reduced the interest rates, but no matter the interest reduction, the moratorium given, if the business outlook doesn't improve, it means that the, the hotels will, will go under. 
And uh, do you foresee future mergers and acquisition among hotels as the impact of the pandemic hits? Yes, I see more cooperation coming. coming. Uh, yes, uh, as, as bond hotels, we've seen more appetite for hotel owners to join the properly managed brands so that uh, they, can have, they can maximize their profitability and ensure that best practices are, are employed in running their businesses. Yes, I see mergers coming, I see acquisitions coming in, and also I see more corporations uh, in, in, in our space in the hospitality industry. Thank you for your thoughts, Mr. Omar. Thank you for having me. A great pleasure to always be with you. Hello, hope you enjoyed the news. Please do subscribe to our YouTube channel and don't forget to hit the notification button so you get notified about fresh news updates.